Hi guys, we've uh, just finished making the video and we're about to publish it and we realized that on the top of the boxes that you'll see in the video, uh, our address was written and we decided we didn't want that uh, out in the world for any nutter to see. So as a result, this video has some weird boxes weird. over it. They are weird. What do you mean? Oh, weird. Worked so hard on them. You did work hard, but they're still weird. Thank you for doing it, putting the weird boxes on. I, th I like the term unpolished. Unpolished? Unpolished editing. To be fair, they are much better than I could have done myself. Well, so, they, they got done. I didn't. Oh, this was going to be a 10 second <laughs> intro. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, we had to put boxes on it to block out our address. Enjoy the video. G'day, buddies. What a day it's been. I stuffed up the main thing of it though. Friday is weigh-in day. I know I ruined it. Uh, I got up there. Just, well, oh. I'm about to tell you. Oh. I'm not just going to say I ruined it and leave it at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? How? <laughs> I got up really early this morning. 3.30 this morning so I could be uh, on air with uh, Dr. John McDougall on his weekly free webinar for a, an interview Q&A sort of session for an hour and uh, and, sorry, and uh, yeah, so I was up really early and I did that uh, Q&A and it was amazing, I had the best time, there was lots of good questions and, uh, and Dr. McDougall made an incredible offer, an amazing, generous offer. Should I say what it is or should people watch the webinar to find out? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. Are you making a soap about yeah, this? Yeah, no, that's silly, isn't it? I'll just tell you. <laughs> so halfway, it's not really your style, really. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> um, halfway through the webinar, uh, Dr. McDougall offered to pay for us to uh, <laughs> camera person and camera person. That is not. <laughs> um, to fly to the US and take part and actually for me to present at one of his uh, uh, advanced study weekends in, in sometime next year. So, wow, that's going to be amazing. I, uh, I'm totally blown away that I could be worthy of talking at one of those things. But uh, anyway, how exciting. That's amazing. And I was, what asleep. A day. I was meant to go for 10 minutes and went for an hour and I was asleep. Yeah. But I wake up right when you were going, oh, wow. Oh yeah. wow, oh wow, you must have got really loud during that. <laughs> I got to be excited. Anyway, it was really cool. Um, I'll put the link to that lecture, webinar, talk in, uh, in the um, description for the video. So you can click on it and watch that if you want. Um, anyway, I stuffed up weigh-in day because normally when I weigh in, I wake up around seven in the morning and the first thing I do is go to the toilet. Second thing I do is weigh myself third thing I do is have a drink and have breakfast. And I do it that way so that it's consistent, as consistent as I can have it. But anyway, since I got up early, I'd already had something to drink or plenty to drink because I was dehydrated when I woke up and I'd already had something to eat as well. So See that big mouth? He drinks a lot. <laughs> lot <laughs> probably drank, probably yeah. drank a litre and, and I also had a small bowl of potatoes too. And uh, yeah, so... I weighed myself and I weighed 118 point something, I can't remember what it was, but uh, anyway, then I realised it's pointless because I, it's, I've thrown it off, so whatever, weigh-in day, doesn't matter this week, we'll do it again next week. Uh, other things that have happened today, um, some people in Idaho may, who make potatoes, I can't remember the name of the company, but they contacted me a while ago and offered to uh, send me some potatoes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, I'll find it. Yeah. It's uh, that one. Idahoan original mashed potatoes. Oh, well that... Okay. okay. So they contacted me That's a while a ago chance. and offered to send me some um, powdered, like instant mashed potatoes. I think that's a company. Um, I don't know if that's a company. Whatever, I'm going to open it and we'll find out. Maybe you should name them. I'm going to. As soon as we oh. get a packet out, we'll know. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, good one. Um, so, I was panicking, man. So they, they sent me these original mashed potatoes. They said I could have whatever I wanted. So I got on the website and I found the ones that were vegan. So with no animal products, no milk, no butter, no powders or eggs or any of that sort of stuff in the mix. 
and I said that'd be great, I'll have those ones. And I can't remember what the flavours were because it was a long time ago now. Yeah, and it's called Priority Mail. And Priority Australia Mail. Coast still are. Yeah, anyway. Here we are. So, Idaho. Wow, they're in a big box. Oh. I expected small packets. This is not what I was expecting. Here we are. Wow. God, Idaho US products are so different. <laughs> original mashed potatoes. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Oh, made, with a, made with 100% real mashed potatoes. Mm. Original America's favourite. America's favourite mashed potatoes. Based on Nielsen sales. Let though. me just check That's the right. ingredients to make sure that... So, yeah, Idaho and imagine uh, original mashed potatoes with emulsifier and preservatives uh, and gluten-free. All right. So there's no numbers on here. That's pretty good. Oh, my God, that's a cool motto. Um, Read that motto. Our motto <laughs> is to pick one thing and do it well. We pick potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I love that. So uh, basically, this is going to be good as... I'm not going to cook it up now. I'm going to I'll cook it up another time. I thought this would be good as like emergency food when I'm not prepared with other You're potatoes have a time ready. Here, surely. I'll do that. I'll do it another time. We'll make another video. But anyway, that's what that's what I got in the mail. That's exciting. So that thank you so to Idahoan Original Mashed Potatoes. If you're watching, Woo! thank you. I've got five boxes here. It's a website they, on there. Hang are on. They all the same flavour. Hang on. You can Google it, I guess. Uh, original, original. Original and original. So yeah. five boxes of original some Idaho and mashed potatoes. Social media contacts. Idaho and uh, food. This video is getting long. Okay, right. sorry. So well, I don't know what else you're doing. I'm doing the other potatoes. Oh, okay. Come on. Do that another time. No, we've got to do it now. Okay, it came today. Right. We do a video of what happened today. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> so. Tell me what day is it? I don't know what day is it? <laughs> All right, another guy contacted me, Frank Matolo from, uh, he's a potato farmer in South Australia. And Yay, off, potato and, farmers. <laughs> and he offered to send me some potatoes and I thought, cool, I could save money for Tessa Ruro and Luca. <laughs> Are you on? You're not, you don't look like you're pointing at me. Yeah. yeah okay. I could, Tessa Ruro and Luca uh, fruit and veggie shop in Balaclava is... Melbourne. In Melbourne, that's who normally supplies my potatoes. But I thought, cool, if someone else wants to send me potatoes, then I can save some off. money for Brendan and uh, give him a week off. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah they're worried so, you're going to do a second. And it, this is funny though because Frank Matolo, thank you very much for your generosity too. Go Send me two boxes of potatoes, and they turn up and look. Give me this. Look at this. Man you can trust. Isn't they it? turned up and look at this. So I oh, can't really see it that well. Yeah, the oh. last one. Oh, hey, I'll get your bike light for you. Okay, get Manny's going to get my bike light. Anyway. Oh, you sort of can see it. Oh, anyway, there's three mark. three boxes. There we go. There you go. Now you can see it. So this bottom box is a we box spend of no expense with the light. Is a box of potatoes that I picked up a couple of days ago from Tessarero and Luca Brothers. And then look what happened. Frank Matolo sent me his potatoes, and that's this box and this box. So there you go. But Frank Matolo apparently grows the best potatoes, and Tessarero and Luca Brothers only stock the best. And look what we get. I'm You've just getting the same potatoes. The whole way I have been eating the best potatoes. Like. So, there is this bottom box. Hang on, let me open them. and see. Okay, yeah, hang on. Take, oh, you, you can film me again. I, I got that around the wrong way. It's terrible. It's the, You've got to invest in lighting. It's the top box, which is from <laughs> Tessarero and, and Luca made the top box. Googling potatoes. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going for the snakes to get the bright one again. <laughs> These <laughs> are the pitfalls right. of using here we are, here we are, here inferior here. technology. So, this one. Oh, on. Gormandine. <laughs> Go, Teddy. Gormandine potatoes. Ooh. Oh, hello, Teddy. Hi, mate. You want some gnocchi, Teddy? Teddy wants some gnocchi. There you go. A little, sit on the couch. A little, yeah. yeah, okay. I'll come and sit on the couch with you when we finish filming, okay? Have your potatoes. Take some potatoes. Go and sit on the couch, and I'll see you in a minute, all right, buddy? So. Gormandine potatoes, these ones. I haven't had these before. Uh, I'm not either. sure if they're in Tessarero and Luca or not. They probably are. I just go for the standard, these ones, which the they, name... They're di different. Yeah, they're different, yeah. But uh, that's just the one they're that I go smaller. for. I like these ones, but uh, these ones apparently <laughs> have won the best tasting potato award in Australia for the last three years. I'm pretty sure I got that right. Gormandine potatoes. So I'm going to cook up some of these and we'll have a taste. The video might be getting long by now. It's I'm 8 sorry. minutes 51. 8 minutes 50, okay. So they sent me a box of Gormandine. We'll see how they go. And they also sent me a box of these ones. 
I've, sorry, I've forgotten the name, but these ones are the ones which I usually get from Tessabiro and Luca, and I know that they're delicious because I eat them all the time. I love these ones. They're not all I eat, but I do love them. I eat these probably more than any other kind of potato. These are really good. So I'm not going to cook up those ones tonight, but we will bake some gourmand deans in a second. Uh, actually, I am cooking up some of those ones because I have the Tessarira and Luca ones already in here. No, put them in. Oh no, they're not already in. Oh, sorry. Doesn't matter. Are you hungry they're going yet? to go in because I'm going to make mash using the Tessarira and Luca ones. Yeah, I didn't ones. know what you were doing, so I didn't. And then I'm going to. I'm also going to bake some gourmandine. Turn the camera off. Oh, I'll get that out of the way. Actually. Oh, stop filming. Huh? That's all right. We've got no. Are you filming still? No, I'm filming. Yeah. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we're doing. I want to, I haven't had these ones before and they're supposed to be the most delicious in Australia. Like I just said, they've won the award. Um, if I want to taste the potato properly, I'm not going to make mash with them and add other uh, flavour to them or anything. I'm just going to do that. This is my simple cooking method. I'm going to put them straight in here. And I'm going to just put them literally in there. See what could get easier. Put them in there like that. I'm not even going to fork stab them. Eat that, get healthy. That's Eat that, easy. get healthy. Put them in the oven. Turn it on. 180 degrees. Celsius. Put it on, the, put it on yeah, 180 degrees Celsius. You can work it out if you're American. It's more. Um, yeah, it's more than that. <laughs> uh, put the fan picture on. 180 degrees Celsius. We'll go for 50 minutes. Bob's your uncle. We'll see how it goes. It's like a spotlight. <laughs> Are you it's a potato now? show. Oh, do I do that? Yeah, because oh, we're better. not going to film for 45 minutes, oh, are yeah, we, yeah. until it's done? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, fine. Alright, potatoes are done. I wasn't planning on showing you how I make my mash, but it happens to be done, so let's do it. Uh, so, want to have a look in? Have you never done that before? No, I haven't shown them potato mash recipe, oh. but oh. let's do it. So, I quarter the potatoes, put them in, fill it with water cold water to start with and then bring it to the boil and let it go for a while and What's take, that cold water take, theory? Uh, what do you mean? You're starting when it's with the, putting them in while it's cold and letting it come to the boil. Oh, I, just think it, I just think it cooks them better if you start with potatoes in cold water rather than adding potatoes to boiling yeah, water. Yeah, your mum won't grease it though. I think, I think that's a thing uh, that maybe people that's, know about. I, yeah, I probably got it from my mum. She's an amazing probably. cook. I don't, she is. Yeah, I don't remember that coming from mum though, but it's probably right. She's an incredible cook. Uh, so, I've done that, I've boiled them, they're soft enough to, where'd that sharp knife go? Oh, just use this one. They're soft enough to just poke a knife through and it to just go through easily and then you lift it up and they fall off. Then it, that means that they're done. So there's that soft. So, get a tea towel, put the lid on with a little crack around there. I don't use a colander because this is easy. Put the tea towel on, grab it like is that. It? This is a 10 litre pot. So it ends up with about six kilos of mash at the end. So I'm just going to hold it like that and just pour the water out into the sink. All right. Really quickly, take the lid off again. All right. So first ingredient: chicken stock powder. Vegan, please don't write and complain. There are no Salt animal reduced. products in this. Salt reduced vegan chicken stock powder. All right. It's just flavoring. Teaspoon. Chicken. Teaspoon. This is six kilos of mash, remember? One teaspoon of flavoring. So I'm really not using that much. Sprinkle it in. Garlic powder. Bit of a sprinkle. All right. That's just not a bit of a sprinkle. It is. It's over six kilos of mash, that is a bit of a sprinkle. How many meals and is that? Onion powder. This is like four meals, oh. five meals. Oh. Onion powder. Hang on. Is it coming out? We might be out of no. onion. Oh, we're out of onion powder. Oh. All right. Squeeze it. All right, a little bit. Uh, oh. A little bit of nutritional. It's me out. I'm trying to be quick. This is too long already. Nutritional Thank yeast, savory yeast flakes, nooch if you're a. Someone level 5 vegan. Level 5 nutrist. <laughs> or maybe a 3 level nutrist. You should have like a nutrist parties. <laughs> <laughs> Go no. to a nutrist People beach. would get it wrong. Go to, could there be a nutrist beach? <laughs> Everyone just sits around eating nooch and, and has their clothes on. Is that could be 12 in it? For oh, interest. I don't know. Uh, I supplement B12, so I've not. Oh, no, I'm curious. But, well, okay, I'm yeah, there's B12 in this. Okay. 0.15 milligrams. Per 100 grams. 
sorry, a little sprinkle of nooch. Then soy milk. Uh, soy milky, vada soy. Uh, light because it's light. got no oil added. Yep, that's a good point. All right, there we go. Remember that's six kilos of mash. So there's a bit of soy milk in there. But when you spread it out over six kilos, it's not too much. Everyone knows how to mash, so you don't need to see it. Not to be too much, but the point is that. I'm just the point is that this is this is mostly potatoes. Don't get carried away thinking that oh you're getting all your nutrition from onion powder and soy milk. Like it smells amazing. Yeah. All right. So you know how to mash. You don't need to wash the rest of this. We'll talk to you again in a minute. All righty. Potatoes are ready. What were these ones called? Gomadine. Oh, they're those ones. No, these are the this is the normal ones that I have. Oh, okay. Mash, but the gomadine oh, ones are in the other. Oh, is that what you're doing? Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing them both. Alright. So How am I first... supposed to keep up? I don't know. So complex. Alright, so I'm going to get them out. Let's have a look. You've thrown me using two yep. ingredients. Yeah, good. yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I'm yep. cooking two things at once. I don't normally do that, no. but it's, it's a big day. So let's let's keep it big! Jeez, that was loud. Yeah, well, let's not, let's not do things in halves. Look at them. <gasps> Gormandine potatoes. Wow. Three years running Australia's most delicious potatoes. Really Let's see if they live up to their name. I bet the skins pop if you stick a knife in. Should we try? Yeah, yeah. Which one? Uh, Which one? one that looks a bit stretchy, that one. That one. Okay, ready? Yeah, I love it like that. Oh my gosh. I've got food envy again. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them All right, all. I'm gonna take, we'll get that one out. I'll put it down. Is it mine? Ooh, it's nice and squishy. Yeah, yeah, you can be the taster if you like. No. You don't want to be on camera, do you? No. Alright, just put them back in. Oh, bad here, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna, it's a bit hot, so I'm just gonna leave it here to cool for a second. I'll just slice a bit off, ready for tasting. Alright, that bit I'm gonna taste in a minute. But for now, I've finished mashing. I didn't need to show you how to mash because everyone knows how to mash. You get a masher thing and you push it into the potatoes and it's done. Now let's have a taste. You can taste it from behind the camera. Tell us if oh. it's good. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm. That's really good. So there you go. A little bit of vegan chicken stock, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of nooch. You don't need the nooch, though. No, you don't need any of it. It's good on its own, but... Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's my mash recipe. Now, let's try this potato. Is it cool enough? Yeah, all right. It's a bit hot in my hands though. Isn't it funny how things get too hot for your yeah, hands, really but not too hot for your mouth? Gorman D potato, Australia's most delicious potato. Let's give it a try. Oh, Andrew. Oh, <laughs> That's hot. ridiculous. Oh. It just came out of the oven. I know, but the skin, I was trying to bite through the skin so I could give you half of that bite, but now it's got no I'm skin. I'm going to do that, that I'd be crazy. That's a soft like butter. Oh, that is, that is a good potato. You want a bit? Not yet. Not yet? That was a bit hot. I should have <laughs> waited. I'm going to wait about an hour. That was really good. I'm going to do another slice. Oh, look at that. It just falls apart happen. when you cut it. <laughs> Alright. Now. Look at this. This stuff. Oh, I can't remember where it's from. Blue Mountains. Yeah, Blue Mountains. But what brand oh. it is? Just, if you want it, Google. Blue Mountains. It's in the back packet. Oh Top. yeah, up the back. Them. We gotta write to them and tell them we do. if they're amazing. Original. Okay, yeah, stop, don't move it because I've got to get the it's shiny. Well, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna read the address. Oh. Smokeandspice.com.au. The original smoke and spice co company. Yeah. This this is the most delicious thing I've eaten this year. And it is Garlic smoked sea salt with. Smoked garlic sea salt, yeah. Smoked garlic sea salt. It'll be on there. What's in it? Oh, well, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to sprinkle it. You're interested. Little... Yeah, but people can look it up. Smokeandspice.com.au. Sprinkle a little bit on for the second. We bite. found it when we were living in Sydney. I'm just going to chuck this in my gob. It cooled down. Mm. Is amazing? Mm. Are you meant to be finding it amazing? No, but I am anyway. <laughs> and the best bit is I'm finding it amazing, but I'm not binge eating on it. So no. if I'm if you're that, really thirsty all the time, if that's working, then um, it's all good.
Anyway, enough for today. This video is too long. I always go too this long. Is four minutes. Yeah, what are we up to? 13 minutes or something already? I'm more, sorry, no. people. I can't. I just can't. You know my, what the problem is? My thoughts flow. It's what? just slow talking. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. If this was me, I'd have been done ages ago. <laughs> At least half the time you, ago. You would, have, you would have said triple the amount of words <laughs> and still taken three times as long. And no one would have understood any of it. Alright. The subtitles. That's what we do. Check the description to find the... Jeez, Teddy's video just got loud, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's trains. Teddy's watching trains on the TV. The steam train, like a, steam. a live steam right, train. Right. Famous Australia. Anyway, um, yeah. Check the description for a link to the webinar I did with Dr. McDougall. It was my favourite moment of the whole year. Comment below, questions below, visit the website, uh, spudfit.com, like the Facebook page. I'm going to really try my best to send my first newsletter from the website this weekend. So, there you go. Spud up.